Okay, hello. Welcome to Great Idea, which is our new exhibition here at the Museum of St Albans, featuring work by sculptor Thomas Raschke and photographer Tobias Hofses. I've known one of the artists, Thomas Raschke, for over 15 years, uh, but I first came across his work in Berlin. They contacted me a couple of months ago and, such, and told me that they were having a show in Germany and would I like to come and see them and talk about perhaps bringing it here. I took a trip to Stockholm and it was clear that it was one of the projects we should definitely bring over, so here it is. I think the main point of the show is it's about the experience of somebody living in a community which isn't their own. So Thomas and Tobias both live in Stockholm, so they're Germans living in Sweden. Um, Thomas's work is incredibly transparent, uh, and the show was called Transparent in Germany. Uh, and the, the show really is about this idea of transparency, which is one of the sort of cardinal values of, of Swedish society, and um, how they question whether in fact everything should be as transparent as they're told it should be. Well, as a professional photographer, it was quite a... The move was actually coming to a really boring city in a way, moving from Berlin to Stockholm, because uh, it's really picturesque, it's really beautiful Stockholm on the surface. But uh, so what I was right away fascinated with was places that are seen as ugly in Stockholm or like a bit trashy coming from Berlin. So I found this spot Slussen um, in the city center and I was amazed with the the shapes, with the details, with the colors of the place, and it's, uh, I was shocked to hear that they are going to tear it apart and rebuild something new, something that you find in any other uh, European big city or worldwide. Even. So I, I, I focused on that and I had to sh shoot it in, in color, because that was my, my, my first impression that I have to preserve that before it's gone. And uh, that was a really successful huge project in Stockholm and people appreciated it and saw actually beauty in something they thought just has to, has to go. So after, after the, the Slussen project I thought that I want to continue uh, shooting pictures in the city but it, from, a, from a different point of view. I, again I wasn't interested in shooting normal black and white images I thought that to, to understand the, the city of my new home, I have to go deeper. So I decided to shoot analog and had the material in my hand, the negatives, and the negatives were see-through. So to keep the negative and put it like a positive, actually, as an image, was like exactly what I wanted to go to the deeper level of understanding my new home and yeah, what, what is Sweden to me. So it was a really nice change moving from color to black and white, but not in a way that would be too, too pretty again or too artistic, but more like an x ray to change black to white and white to black and cause productive or creative confusion. The first time I was in Stockholm, I was there with my wife and my little child. She was one year and we had a accommodation close to the harbor in the middle of Stockholm. And one morning I woke up with a terrible noise outside. And you must imagine it was end of April and that was an icebreaker in the harbor. And I thought, oh my god. Do you really want to live there? And our perspective in the beginning was that we only want to stay or should stay for two years because my wife was seconded for two years to Stockholm. Now it's eight years. <laughs> so the first impressions were not so important because I always thought, okay, it's just for two years. Then we go. Uh, that all changed in this later time. Yeah, I suppose I was, like Tobias, always interested in transparency, but that means that we are both very interested 
in looking behind things. But I didn't knew it. I, I, I met uh, Tobias in Stockholm. So um, looking behind or through the things is kind of come close or explain what you see or understand what you see. I and mean, if you come in a new society like the Swedish, uh, you try to find out why do the people react in this way? Why are they friendly and not and open-minded and not in the same way and all these questions? So you want to look through. You want to have uh, look through and want to have answers. Uh, so there I combine two things. I always was interested in looking through the things. So my objects are like wireframes, like objects where you can look through and see all the, the details in it, all the interiors. And the same interest we had in the society in Stockholm, we wanted to understand, as foreigners, I think that's a problem every foreigner has in a new country, as you want to understand and then you want to assimilate. But you only can assimilate if you understand, and if you copy the behavior of people. So first you have to understand it, what are they doing? Yeah, I think it was three, three or now four years ago that uh, we actually started the idea for this project and uh, Thomas was planning an exhibition in Bratislava. I just came with to support him and to have a look. And we, so we came to the gallery and uh, Thomas talked to the guy who was organizing everything and he really I had to explain how it looked like. Yeah. So I came into a gallery and the gallery has had windows everywhere. So I saw this and thought, oh, impossible to, to, to show my things. And uh, then I stood there and uh, said to the gallerist, oh, I'm so sorry, I think I have to do this with somebody else together who has some pictures and so we combine with a painter or with a photographer. You looked at me, I didn't understand <laughs> the price. <laughs> And he's okay, we yeah. both could do it together, so yeah. that's it. <laughs> I think it's, it's funny, we never work together like some people can imagine, like, like artists are in a studio together, four hands on an object or together behind the camera, they don't work. Um, what we do so intensively is talk about things, um, talk about how we see the surroundings and that makes at least what kind of photos you, t you take and what kind of objects I choose and often is, it is in this way that Tobias uh, made a proposal like uh, wouldn't that fit together and I said oh yeah that's great or other way or vice versa also with an object when we thought of the combinations of both and yeah, that, then the project slowly developed. So I think we have the same base, the same crown. We live together in Stockholm since eight and nine years. So we had the same daily struggle with the society around us, the same misunderstandings. And we try hard to come in the new society and understand what is behind all this behavior and all uh, reactions. And I think that's a base. Yeah, that was one. And we also share the appreciation of the camp. I mean, we yes. really appreciate where we live, the nature, the, the, the openness of the people was also really nice in one way, but then we realized also when you go a bit deeper, it's like a more close society. So we found that really, uh, in Swedish, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so some of these objects communicate, some are maybe more independent, but still deliver a message, so we really like that concept. And it's all for us a typical Swedish atmosphere, a typical Swedish thing, or a typical Swedish moment, like all people dancing, or the, the, the nature, or other things. I hope they see our exhibition with a smile, because behind all of this is the, 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 the humor, the humor we share. Yeah. So, yeah. and, uh, so it's about Sweden and we see our, our new homeland this yeah, yeah, and that's also, I think it's really interesting. It's interesting to see what people think here because when I talk 
to Matthew Shaw. Um, for him, like Sweden is IKEA and ABBA. And I think to come here and see actually a bit more of that, but also have that also in the images, is, uh, is, is, is it's a fun thing to do.